welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new lynn white here mom of five sharing all things homemaking on my channel i share tons of cleaning motivation as well as occasional recipes always decluttering and organizing in diys and tons and tons of decor so i'm so happy you are here today we are kicking off today with our spring cleaning series which i'm like Yes, who is so ready for spring? It is one of my favorite times of the year. The weather isn't quite so hot here in Florida. It's like a cool breeze. I'm just so ready for it. So we're going to be going through this house inside and out and getting it ready for spring. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. Today, we were going to work on the bathroom. So I was going to work on outside, but it is cold today. It's 53 degrees here in Florida, which is super duper cold. And so decided, you know what? We're going to improvise. We're going to work on the bathrooms because the kitchen is actually getting the cabinets and the island put in there right now. And I'll give you guys a little peek. And with spring coming up, that means like tons and tons of decor videos. So I'm really excited. I am also super excited because Micah Stoffer is gonna be sharing a video today on her channel as well of spring cleaning and just getting your house ready. You guys, if you don't know who she is, you better go find out. She is a YouTube OG, okay? She has been here for so long, paving the way for the rest of us mamas to do our thing here, and she's got the sweetest spirit. She has tons of encouraging and motivating videos that I know you are going to love. She also shares homeschooling journey and her adoption journey. She's got a large family like I do, and I just love all the motivation she provides. We have similar content on our channel, so please, 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 if you haven't yet already, go ahead after this video is done, check her out, subscribe to her channel, and if you are from Micah's channel, welcome when you are here you are family so go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you go any further because we have a lot of fun stuff to share on this channel and the seasons coming up and i just love connecting with you guys so let me know in the comments below if you're coming from micah's channel and where you are living right now because i'm always kind of curious i'm in florida and it's usually pretty hot here but like i said 53 degrees so we're going to start working in the bathroom deep cleaning organizing and getting this house ready. So we shall go ahead and get started. I'm starting off in the boys bathroom. This is also the guest bathroom. So you will see laundry in here as well as toothpaste, of course. We have a lot of things to do in here. I clean this bathroom regularly, but deep cleaning is a totally different story. There's Miss Hazel, my baby. But while I'm deep cleaning, I'm seeing all of the things on our punch list that we never completed. This was one of the rooms that we renovated about three years ago and oh my word, you know, out of sight, out of mind. But once I get in here, I'm like, wow, I need to touch up paint and fix grout and the list goes on. So I will just have to do that on another day, but I'm going to deep clean, clean baseboards, organize this bathroom and get it ready for life. Honestly, just life. In today's video, I also will be polishing the granite and marble as well as sealing it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It is really important to make sure you do that every six months to a year because I feel like we so often forget and not regular cleaners are supposed to be used on this stone. So make sure you're using the right cleaner. I am going to spray down the shower here with this cleaner and let this sit while I start doing the rest of the bathroom. I like to keep supplies in the bathroom ready for whenever I'm ready to clean. So I have a little bin in the cabinet there full of items that I use regularly like the sponge and some of the bathroom cleaners. I'm going to rinse out the little containers here. I got these glass containers from the Dollar Tree and I have four for four boys and I put their toothpaste and toothbrushes in there to keep them separate and so honestly they don't fight. Are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are. 
if you guys ask, I got these aqua microfiber cloths. It was a pack of 10 of them from Marshalls for I think $4.99 a pack. Don't quote me, but I love them. I'm going to get some more. I like having all the same color and I like having so many of them because I can just use them as I'm cleaning. That is the stone and granite cleaner that I use regularly. I love this by far out of anything I have ever used. That brand is amazing. You can get it from Walmart, Target. I'm sure you can order it online as well. After I clean the stone, I'm going to dry it completely and then apply the sealer. I'm going to allow this to penetrate the stone for about five minutes and then I will take that same dry cloth and wipe it up. Onto the shower and tub area. I don't understand why, why my teenager cannot put empty bottles in the trash can. I feel like whenever I clean in here, that is the majority of what I am doing, just putting away empty bottles. So I'm gonna take that scrub, scrubber, whatever it is, and I'm going to scrub the tub and the tile. The cleaner I put on there was the Mrs. Myers. Um, it works fine nothing spectacular about it honestly i have it so i'm using it up before i buy anything else or make my own um, but it does the job so i really can't complain While I was cleaning, I noticed there were some hard water deposits. So I'm gonna use some CLR in a cup and let that sit on here for just a moment and then scrub it away. So for Christmas and Easter, I always get my kids their own new toothbrush and their own tube of toothpaste, and we have a huge box of extra, so I always let them have their own tube. It helps prevent fighting, which I'm sure if you guys have multiple kids, you know what I am talking about. Anything we can do to stop them from fighting, I will do. On to cleaning the mirror. I will wipe it down with the Windex and then just regular old paper towel, getting it done. I like to make my own glass cleaner, but I am out of bottles right now. And with their kitchen renovation, everything is all over the place, which I cannot wait to have everything organized. That's actually what I'm gonna be working on tomorrow, cleaning the kitchen and getting everything back in the cabinets. You wouldn't be so clueless. I frequently get asked what kind of toilet wand this is. It is the Clorox toilet wand. Um, it comes with refills. I like it because the toilet brush that's 
sits next to the toilet, it always rusts and get gross looking. So this has been really great. It's really convenient. So I highly recommend it. And then I just wipe the toilet seat and everything around it with Lysol or Clorox wipes. Today I'm using Clorox wipes. I used to use rags and just bleach them, but with the kids getting sick and just trying to get in here really quick, it's just easier for me personally to just use disposable wipes. So I will say that I will have my kids help me clean usually, but this is later on in the evening and this is a deep clean, so I wanted to do it. I often get asked why my kids don't do their laundry or the dishes or whatever the case may be. Well, it's honestly because this is my channel, not theirs, and I like to provide cleaning motivation, and every once in a while, I'll have them pop on here, but you have to remember you only see me once a week, usually maybe sometimes two times a week, and those are my days that I'm cleaning and I'm filming, but every other day in the week, my kids have to pick up after themselves. They know I'm not their maid. I love to help. I love to help them organize and get them set up but generally they will have to pick up after themselves. So let me know in the comments below, do your kids help you clean or do you just handle it? You like to take care of it? You don't want them messing with it? Or do you have chore charts for your kids for them to help you every day? Or do you just delegate tasks for them on a daily basis? I'm always curious to know what other families do. I don't have a chore chart. I would love to get one. Um, that has always been something that I have struggled with was trying to get like a chore chart so they can get allowances but I don't know I just I've looked on Pinterest and I just don't see anything that just seems I don't know simple maybe that sounds silly so I just usually will delegate tasks if I see something that needs to be done like their room or laundry or cleaning the bathroom I just tell them to go do it and they usually go do it I mean don't get me wrong they don't usually like jump for joy and leap to do it but it does get done like this don't know what happened to you put my trust in you so these baseboards we put in after the renovation many years ago and we are going to take them out i don't like the the way they are i think i'd rather the ones that match the rest of the house so as i was deep cleaning and looking at all the crevices i was like oh my gosh these have got to go asap and we had an overflowing toilet about a year ago and i'm seeing where there's some water damage so you will surely be seeing baseboards be replaced very soon in our house as well as the rest of the house because we just laid the new floors in the living room and the main living areas in the kitchen so we've got to put baseboards in there so many things when i started the renovation i thought okay we're just going to knock down a wall and then you know extend the kitchen a little bit and it'll be done and it has been a two month going on three month project but we are slowly but surely almost done um i ordered the quartz they're coming on tuesday to make the template and then seven days after that it should be here and i'm so ready you guys we are gonna have so much fun decorating this house for spring and i'm telling you i'm so motivated to go through every nook and cranny and just organize and deep clean so you guys make sure you're subscribed because i have so many good videos coming up and and I think almost every one of my spring cleaning videos, I have a special guest 
that will also be sharing motivation. So super excited for that. On with the magic eraser, I'm going to clean the smudges on this door. There are so many. These magic erasers never cease to amaze me. They get so much stuff out. I will probably be repainting the doors um, and the trim because whoever lived here first, they had all the doors and the trim a different color. So if I use the magic eraser too much, that color starts to bleed through. So. Um, let me know if you guys know when painting over latex, do you have to use oil or do you paint latex paint? I was thinking about using an oil base because um, like I had mentioned, if I rub it too much with the magic eraser, it comes up and I feel like it sometimes peels. So let me know in your opinion, should I use latex paint or oil base? Now I'm moving closer to you. And it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love you I'm moving on into the little area here and I'm going to wipe it down with a Clorox wipe. I'm also going to take the little faux plant here. I believe I got it from Marshalls a while back and I'm just going to rinse off all of the dust in the sink and then shake it off really good. I'm going to tackle the linen closet in here. I keep my boys sheets in their bedroom, but any of the extra comes in here. They don't like the flat sheet for some reason, so I have a bin of those and then have one fitted sheet. So I'm going to organize all of this. One of the struggles I have with my boys, actually just my oldest son because he's the one who showers in here, they can never fold things and put it back nicely. So this is my opportunity to take care of that and make it look somewhat put together. I got this picture in my closet It's gathering dust right now And the edges have been folded once or twice It doesn't look the same no more I'm going to take my Thieves oil and put it on my steam cleaner. You just have to put it on the pad there and it works beautifully and it makes this bathroom smell so much better. You're standing by that window playing your guitar and if I close my I can almost hear your song A picture of you If you guys are curious, the floors are actually a wood looking tile. 
Um, I really like them. I think they've held up beautifully as tile wood, but it has the nice look of wood. And these days there are so many variations, so the sky is the limit. We did not put this in the remainder of the house because my boys are very, very rambunctious. And when we had all of the tile, they would bump their teeth and their head on it. So I knew when we were gonna replace the floors to get a softer flooring. So we actually got waterproof vinyl. Uh, we have laminate in the hallway, the master bedroom, and my office. But I feel like it's a little clicky, but the vinyl flooring it's waterproof like i said and it's soft and i love it and it has the hand scraped texture and look as wood so i just feel like it's a win-win The Method anti-back that I had sprayed, I didn't even show it in my video because I actually wiped it all up right away. I did not like the smell. I've never liked the smell and I keep using it and today I finally was over it. So I put this Nature's Miracle all around the um, floor and everything to get the smell up. It is not good at all and it wasn't the smell of my bathroom either. I just don't prefer the way that cleaner smells. So I washed the rugs and I am going to vacuum them because as I had them in the hallway, the kids were running back and forth and got a little bit of dirt on them, of course. So I'm just gonna vacuum them real quick before I am done. The look you had upon your face when I said goodbye. This is the same cleaner I used in the boys' bedroom. It has gotten the smell up a lot. You kind of have to search for it, but I think it works beautifully for the bathroom, if I'm being honest with you. So if you need something to get rid of the funky smell in a guest bathroom or a bathroom where boys or little kids are using it, you can only imagine, this works great. I'm using my Swiffer and going to dust the lights here. Did not want to miss this step. And I'm also going to lightly dust the walls because I noticed they were looking pretty gross as well. Moving into my bathroom, unfortunately I actually lost a lot of footage of the shower, but I'll show you this section that I was able to retrieve and the baseboards in here. This is another room that we renovated about four years ago and there are still things on our punch list that we need to take care of. I think there's a common trend here. We definitely need to get a to-do list going and start marking things off. Life happens, more kids come into the family and things slow down and you know, just out of sight, out of mind. But my goal for this year is to tackle these projects. 
I had mentioned in my last video, one thing that helps me is just reminding myself that it's not going to get done unless I get up and do it. It doesn't mean that my husband, husband wouldn't help or the kids aren't there to help. But if I remind myself that nothing ha happens unless I make it happen, it really motivates me. And you also have to remember that motivation is fleeting and it isn't reliable. So when you have goals, when you have dreams, you have things on your to-do list, whatever the case may be, just get up and get it done. And maybe that's just tackling one thing a day. Just do it and write it down and be extremely proud of yourself. One person might be able to mark everything off of their to-do list, but if you're like me and you sometimes struggle with anxiety and or depression, maybe just getting out of bed is something that needs to be celebrated and that's okay. Maybe making your bed, brushing your teeth, whatever it is, it is unique and personal to you and I want you to celebrate the little victories because those victories are worth it and they are meaningful. Don't compare yourself to anyone else what you think they may or may not be achieving. You never know the struggles that people are going through. So just celebrate your own small victories and keep pushing forward and you will have a life that you love to live. Don't break my heart, just break free. Just let me see your bad streaks. Maybe they'll match my freaks, yeah. I'd kill to see the stars cry. Roam in the dark while love hides. Let the world know you're mine. No Ups and downs, no in between. Fire and ice burn gasoline. You know I love it. You know I love it. Love and hate, romantic sin. Fire and ice gone with the wind. You know I love it. I'm going to declutter this shelf here. This is an Ikea spice rack that I covered the bottom with marble contact paper and painted and it is perfect for any of your supplies like hair supplies, extra makeup, even nail polishes. I had an extra one up there that I held all of the cleaner in the bathroom but we took it down and used it for something else. These shelves are only $5 and you can do so much with it. If you want more ideas, follow me on Pinterest and it's Lynn0382 and you just type in Ikea Spice Rack and you are going to be amazed. So I'm taking an old fingernail file, yes, a fingernail file, and you'll see that there's some hard water stains down there. I stuck my hands in earlier, you probably saw, to make sure it was exactly what it was after I cleaned the toilet, of course. And I cannot find my pumice stone anywhere, so I'm going to use this, and it works amazing for hard water rings and stains just fold it like that and just gently you got to really be gentle when you do it and just work it and get some of those hard water calcium deposits off it's a dream and honestly it's like you can go and spend a whole bunch of money on a pumice stone specific for this but hey a one dollar fingernail file works fantastic but if you would rather one with a handle and not put your hand in the toilet like i said it was already clean so i don't mind you can find one on amazon i'm also going to take my dremel here i purchased this for this shower and it does work very well um, nothing can compare to good old elbow grease if i'm being honest with you but it works great and i'm going to clean all of the tile in here because there are so many little hexagons and it gets so nasty so quick. If you guys are wondering, if you're new here, no, we do not have a shower door. It was always the plan when we renovated this bathroom to add one, but now that we haven't had one for almost four years, I don't need it. Water does not spray out, and honestly, I like that there's no visual weight and it looks very open and my 
bathroom, so I don't see us ever putting one in in the future. At this point, it was about 11.30 at night when I was cleaning. Does anybody else, do you guys get a spurt of energy in the evening? I always have, and I've heard that creative people, people who like to work with their hands as well, usually will become much more active in the evening, and that is so me, 100%. Um, so that is what I'm doing, and I also find this extremely therapeutic. It may seem rather strange, but listening to a good audible or some good music or a podcast. I have been loving podcasts lately. It is the best therapy and I do therapy. And this is honestly some amazing therapy. Just have a little bit of like, or a lot of bit of quiet time when there's nobody asking for anything. This just feeds my soul. And I was doing this when I was very, very little and it's always been such a stress reliever for me so do you guys like to clean or do you guys find it as a stress reliever and if you don't it's inevitable that you're gonna have to clean your house so do little things to make it fun whether it's listening to a book your favorite music talking to a friend whatever the case may be get creative with it because if you got to do it you might as well have fun Maybe I'm a bird. I am using the magic eraser to clean the tile. It works the best in my opinion. I already sprayed it down so it's wet and it's getting anything like shampoo or things that got on the tile, it's getting it right off. So I'm trying to be very gentle with this tub. It was actually sprayed. Um, it was originally an almond color and I'm noticing a couple of nicks here and there. Do you guys have any experience with resurfacing a tub on your own? I'm wondering if I should have the guy come back out and fix it, but I'm kind of dreading the whole process again. So let me know if there is a way that I can kind of spot treat some of these little nicks where I see the um, paint coming off.
I'm going to continue on to the base of the tub. There was some makeup on here and it is coming right off and it's a little bit in the grout, but this magic eraser does an amazing job making everything so sparkly white again. I'm also going to move on to my cabinet. I actually painted it and so I need to get the makeup off of it. I've been thinking about repainting it a darker gray. Let me know in your opinion, keep it white or make it dark gray. I'm going to spray off all of the containers with any shampoo or soap that's on there just to be a little extra because I'm here I might as well do it I'm gonna make the bottles look pretty clean I always do this like I don't have and I know what I want to clean and I have like in my mind a checklist but once I start cleaning I always get very extra and start going way above what I even thought I was gonna do so this cleaning took about oh, three and a half hours it was insanity but let me tell you something everything feels so good and so clean and sparkly and I like doing this every so often especially when the seasons are changing because it sets my kids up to be able to just maintain it going to clear off the top of my counter and then I am also going to clean both countertops my vanity and Chris's with the granite cleaner and seal it as well Now that I am going to steam the floor, I will actually flip it over. And so on one side, I did one bathroom and on the other side, I will clean this bathroom. That's the way I don't transfer any of anything imaginary in my mind when in all honesty, there's probably nothing because that steam is hot. I accidentally had my foot under there one time and it, it hurt, it blistered up pretty bad. So. Um, that is what I like to do. I haven't been using my mop recently because I've been trying to use the steamer more and more, but when I do use my mop, I will use my Thieves Cleaner and it is amazing. I'm really happy that I'm doing this cleaning now, not only to start the series for spring cleaning, but Chris is away at camp with our oldest son, he's 14, and I love for him to come home to a clean house. I like coming home to a clean house, so I like to give the same courtesy. He probably doesn't care one way or another, but I just think it's nice to come home when you're bathroom is clean and your clothes are put away the beds made and I have a lot of work to do I wish I could let you guys see what my house looks like right now it is a literal disaster there are, are two loads of laundry actually on the floor right now there are papers all in my office as I'm doing this voiceover I could not stand the clutter I cannot work on their stuff everywhere so I just pushed it all on the floor my kitchen is not clean. There is still dinner sitting there. So I just want to give you that little tidbit of real life. You may think, wow, how does she have all that energy? She's got so many kids. Da 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 da. Listen, I'm just like you. I am just trying to do my best every single day. So just remember, you and I are in this together.
I'm going to dust my lights like I did the other bathroom and get any of the dust that's up here. This is the first time I have actually done this and it is very noticeable. There is dust everywhere. It is thick. I'm going to be taking these lights down and actually spraying them as well as all of the doorknobs in the house, but I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use. I don't know if it's going to be a brass or maybe black or um, a oil rubbed bronze. Let me know in the comments below what color you think I should do the light fixtures and the doorknobs in the house. I would highly recommend this granite and stone sealer from Wyman's. I've never used it before. I've used the cleaner a lot. It's my favorite, but it is really easy to use. So if you see this in the stores, I would encourage you guys to pick it up. Again, I think Walmart or Target sells it. like I have talked y'all's ear off so much I hope it's not too much but I am going to move on into my husband's under his sink here and I'm going to organize this a bit I recently decluttered the bedroom and the bathroom and all of that footage got erased on accident so there wasn't much to do but there was definitely some to do more on his side than mine so I threw away whatever he didn't need and I knew what he didn't need <laughs> stuff that I don't think he needs and I'm going to put this lazy Susan in here this was actually what I used for my spice racks but I got some new ones and I'm gonna put his products on here so they are easily ex ex eh, easily accessible sorry words are hard On my side, there wasn't much to do, but I just started organizing everything that was in here to make it look a little more tidy. We are coming to the end, and I hope you guys got a ton of cleaning, decluttering, organizing, spring cleaning motivation. I hope it inspired you to tackle one room at a time and really get in there and do everything you've got to do. Three and a half hours, you guys, and I've got a 46 minute video. So I hope it inspired you. I hope it motivated you. Make sure you go and say hello to Micah. Let her know that Lynn sent you. And if you are from Micah's channel, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. You are a blessing to me. So thank you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you guys go. And I will see you guys in the next video. Also, don't forget, I will have a spring cleaning playlist. So you'll be able to keep up with these videos as long as you need to. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.
Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Lynn White, mom of five, sharing all things homemaking and hopefully motherhood motivation. Honestly, motivation for anyone who may need it. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going to be cleaning my house after we got back from a very small getaway, Chris and I. My mom gave us a little bit of time in Orlando. She booked us a hotel. We were out there helping her. Um, well, Chris was leading worship and she got us a room and we were able to enjoy Disney Springs. Have you guys ever been to Orlando? And if so, where do you usually go? We've done the Magic Kingdom and we've done all of those places, but for adults, for us, um, excuse me, Disney Springs is definitely the place we like to go, mainly because we like to eat. And if you saw our vlog on our family channel I posted on Tuesday, you will see we basically ate our way through Disney Springs. I was so happy to get back home and get back to my regular lifestyle because whew, my stomach was not feeling good after all that food. I am taking care of some of the laundry that was left on my bed when we left. I'm going to start putting everything away, putting clothes away, and unpacking my bags. Let me know, do you guys unpack right away or do you wait a couple of days? I'm definitely one to unpack immediately. You say you'll be mine. One little quirk I will admit to having is if I am busy that day and don't get to making my bed immediately, I don't care if I'm about to get into the bed, I will make it completely. I don't know what it is. I don't like getting into the bed when the sheets are all messed up. I have to start fresh every single night. I want to see if you guys notice how I am folding these pillowcases. I lay both pillowcases on top of each other. That way, when I go and grab one, they are both there neatly placed in the container. I've been walking down the street like an alien. They say time will heal, but I don't have patience. You packed your things, now we begin the erasing. I wanted to let you guys know if you didn't already see on my Instagram, I am starting a spring cleaning series this Sunday. I am very, very excited about it. I have got something lined up every single week to go through our house inside and out and get it ready for the spring as the season starts to change. I am also very excited because some of my dearest friends are going to be joining me on this series. You are going to see some of my favorite people and you are going to be filled with a ton of spring inspiration and motivation. There is going to be no area we don't touch and we are just going to get ready and just embrace the season. So I am so excited to be joining you guys and my friends in the season change and just Oh, I'm so ready for it. If you haven't yet already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified when I upload the series. If you have not seen my bathroom organization video, I will try to tag that above. I did it quite some time ago and I've got these bins at Home Goods on the clearance rack. There was a little crack on the bottom, but you never see it and they have handled everything so, so well. So a little tip, if you go into the clearance section, don't quickly shy away from things with little dents and scratches because honestly, a lot of times they're just a little bit bruised if you will but they work perfectly and you can save a lot of money by scanning the clearance rack first The 
moving into my bathroom, I am going to start putting away any of my toiletries that I unpacked before I start wiping down the counters. I'm sharing with you my Beyond Mascara City Beauty Mascara. I love it. It is my new favorite and it stays on all day. I'm not sure if it's waterproof, but it surely does not budge. Time to clean up everything. I'm going to use my bathroom cloth and my window cloth, both as you see from e-cloth and my thieves spray that I made in my last video. I'm going to spray all over the countertops, the sinks, and the mirrors. This is the perfect lineup. I love using these items together. You just use water for your cloths or just wipe with the cleaner. It is amazing. When you're using your kitchen cloth, your bath cloth, and any of the other ones really, you just wet with water and it does the work for you. You don't have to use any cleansers per se. I personally like the way the Thieves smells and it makes me feel extra good about putting it on my countertops. I know it's so good for the environment and also easy for me to breathe and I know it's a great disinfectant and cleanser so I use it but you do not have to use any product when you use e-cloths, you just wet them. On to my dresser. I'm going to use this pledge here. I know this is not considered non toxic, but when it comes to dusting, I really need to put something on there. And my e cloth duster was in the wash, so I am using this and I don't even feel bad about it. With all the dust that collects in my bedroom, it's okay to have balance and use what you need to use. You don't have to feel like you've got to go on one side or the other. Use whatever makes you happy. I prefer to have a balance. I use all natural in a lot of ways, but sometimes you're going to see me get some of that stuff out, the hard stuff, and that's okay too. We are not here to shame you or make you feel bad for whatever products you choose to use around your family because as the mama of your home, you know best. Feel like, oh. 
I noticed when I was dusting that the walls were so dusty as well, so I'm gonna add this to my lineup for spring cleaning, but I went ahead and took care of the spots that I could actually reach. Every time I fall, you got me safe and sound, safe and sound. Just do what we do and don't talk about love, he's the one that I die for. Let me ask you guys, are you going to decorate your master bedroom for spring? I have been debating on whether I want to or not. Since getting rid of so much stuff and decor I no longer use in my home, I am just not really interested in purchasing a lot of stuff, but I have been feeling like I wanna add some new pillow covers. Pillow covers are a super easy and affordable way to spice up or change up any room for the season without spending a lot of money. So I'm going to quickly show you guys this new vacuum that was gifted to me. I am very familiar with Auric. I have not tried this vacuum, so I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so first off, it's called the Auric Cordless Pod, and it comes with these little pods here. Let's take a look. So I think the purpose is you don't have to clean the dust. So you never handling it, you're never smelling it, you're never doing anything like that. This was gifted to me, so this is not sponsored. Give me what matters, that's what I wanna see. All right, here we go. I was really thankful that they reached out to me because you guys know my Dyson has just given up on me or I've given up on it or maybe the feeling beautiful, I don't know. So this comes at a really good time, especially with the renovations and stuff. There's just stuff everywhere and it's hard to um, sweep it, because you're basically sweeping the dust back in the air. Pod is in here, like I showed you, and this ex uh, expands when you use it. So you pop that out, there's your pod. You get a total of four additional pods, so five total, and it expands when you're cleaning, so you never have to touch the dust, smell it, it never ever gets back in the air. So that's the one thing that I have never seen this before, this type of technology. So that's a big deal because I have allergy and asthma. And even though you have a HEPA filter on your vacuums, you never know. They really, like, when you're cleaning them out, it's impossible for it to be dust free. It just is. That's why I like my water vacuum, and that's why I was interested in this. I hope you guys have enjoyed the information that I have given you on these vacuums. I feel like I have talked about vacuums with you guys so, so much, but with as much as I clean, it's kind of gonna happen. With my asthma and allergies, it is so important for me to have a good vacuum. And for you, I really want to encourage you to do your due diligence and research any of the products I share with you, that other moms share with you, or that you see online. Um, There's so many reviews out there and you need to make an educated decision for you and your family. Are you looking for convenience? Are you looking for deep cleaning? Are you needing something that is is sensitive to your asthma or um, respiratory issues, whatever the case may be, please, 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 I want to urge you to be your own advocate. Research things, read as much information as you possibly can about any of these devices because what may work for one may not work for someone else. So definitely be your advocate and do your research. here I'm not really sure what it is Let me turn it closer right there so I'm gonna use a little bit of this it works pretty good and try to get this stain out 
Okay, we have to wait 30 seconds. So I'm gonna let that sit on here. It's a little bright on my face, sorry guys. I'm gonna let that sit on here and then I'm gonna scrub it out. I'm actually gonna have um, Stanley Steamer come out and do all the rugs and the carpets that we have in the house um, after the renovation is done. I'm still not really able to get the smell out of Noah's room. It's much, much better. You have to kind of look for the smell, but it's not 100%, so I think Stanley Steamer is the best option. That's what I've used in the past. I personally like um, the way they clean carpets, and it is allergy and asthma approved, so that's really awesome. So now 30 seconds is up. I'm gonna start scrubbing this and see if it gets a stain out. So you just use the other side of here and just... The stain is completely out. This stuff works great. I actually heard about it from Mandy in the making and I, I can't recommend it enough. Okay, I wanna also say on the vacuum cleaner, it worked really well. I liked that when I initially pulled it out of the box, it definitely the base of it or the main compartment felt the same weight as the Dyson. As I put the attachment on it and started using it, definitely lighter. I really like that. But the game changer is gonna be that I'm never gonna to have to empty a cartridge out. That's a big deal, especially if you struggle with asthma and allergies or whatever the case may be. You don't wanna inhale that stuff and there's no way of avoiding it unless you use a water vacuum or something like this. So the pod stays in there. It lets you know when you need to change it out. It's flat at first and then it expands over time. What I will say is if you are looking for a convenient way to be cleaning your house more often um, or you have crumbs everywhere and you want something quick and easy, you really can't beat a cordless, honestly. Um, you, once you start using them, it's hard to go back. I'm gonna clean the toilet here. You guys asked me in one of my last videos what this was, and this is a Clorox toilet wand, and I really like it because it's disposable, and I felt like my toilet wand that's sitting back there was looking really nasty, and I think it was rusting. So I have enjoyed using this. It feels a little bit cleaner, and then I'm gonna wipe the toilet off with some Clorox wipes. On to cleaning the kitchen or whatever this mess is. Chris is trying to figure out why there is no water pressure under the sink and I'm gonna start rolling up any of the unused un or not needed underlayment and start tidying up this space. So thankful we had vinyl flooring put down there because there was a leak that we found and he is taking care of that so we have to dry out under the sink and the toe kick. So I open up the dishwasher and you can see my face. I am not happy. He actually just put the dishwasher in earlier that day when we got home from our trip and it was still full of dirty dishes. So gross. And you can see that there is absolutely no water pressure, but I am trying to make the best out of what I've got because I cannot handle these dishes any longer. trying to do dishes and there was no water coming out I did the best I could 
then I realized <laughs> Chris, the smart one, he thought maybe we had bad valves. No, the valves are fine and all the so I don't know what happened, but I lost audio, but basically we thought we had bad valves and he was getting ready to go buy new valves or a new sink and come to find out the whole time. It just needed a little bit of CLR to clean out all of the hard water. Here in Florida, we have incredibly hard water, so it works as good as new. You guys, in all honesty, I have called the county to come out and tell me why I have no water pressure on my at my sink. And all the while, it was the faucet. So, lesson learned for sure. And it is working so great now. I'm able to just like speed through these dishes. I feel like I'm already in a new kitchen because when you have really good water pressure when cleaning, like especially when you use a sprayer, ah, it is amazing. Like seriously, hashtag adulting when you're excited about some water pressure for your dishes. So I was able to fill up the entire dishwasher, get it started. You saw me roll out the mat and realize there was just too much for that. So I'm filling up the other side and I'm gonna have to put those in the dishwasher when it's done. So, wow, there is a lot of dishes. It is crazy when your kitchen is completely upside down. It is crazy how much like everything kind of gets disrupted usually I stay on top of the dishes and the kitchen never really gets too messy but with the way everything's been with the renovation I'm telling you I am falling so behind You guys see that little open square on the floor there that's the cutout for the new island I have never had an island before so I am so excited for it and I am so excited to be like sprucing the house up for spring will you guys let me know in the comments below is there anything specific that you're hoping to see in my spring series maybe um, refreshing gardens or outdoor spaces or decorating with pastel colors I don't know what the case may be if there's something specific you want me to clean, can you lo let me know in the comments below because that would be very helpful. I love how everything is coming together in this living room. If you've been here for a while, can you believe the change? I cannot wait to do the final home tour. He actually just walked in here and told me that we were done with the floors. Everything is done. The next thing we have to do are the baseboards. I actually ordered the um, countertops today and I'm so excited to show you guys. I show all of the like behind the scenes and very vlog style lifestyle on our other family channel so if you're looking for vlog style content that is where you are going to head over to and I will have that link in my description box but the house is coming together and it just makes me so excited It is day two and I'm gonna finish up the cleaning. It felt so good to be able to just be done last night and then start fresh in the morning. Sometimes, well in the past I have at, had you guys ask if we are able to clean all in one day or how do we do it or you may not get that luxury and the honest, 
honest to goodness truth is I don't get that luxury. I don't have that much energy a lot of the times. Um, so it'll take me a span of a couple days. So please just be encouraged. There are many a YouTubers that will wear the same clothes for two days to make it look like we've cleaned um, just one long day. And no, we don't. It just takes us a couple of days. And I know it surely does with me because being a mom and being a wife really needs to come first. I'm going to wipe down the toilet with a Clorox wipe. I used to use um, rags, old rags that I would just throw in the wash and I just don't want to do that right now, especially with everything being everywhere. And I don't know why I just kind of go through phases where that really grosses me out. And then times where I'm like, Ugh, bleach will kill whatever is on that rag. So I don't care. But right now I'm kind of in that phase where like everybody's been sick. I would rather just wipe it and trash it. Yeah. Hello laundry, you are always there, my old friend. Isn't that the truth? I feel like laundry never ever stops, but I am so thankful to have laundry for my babies to do because that in itself is a blessing. So I've been trying to change my mentality in so many ways, even when it comes to this YouTube journey or being a wife or the responsibilities of my home instead of feeling completely overwhelmed and unappreciated, which I often get into that mindset. Let me just be very transparent with you. I wrestle with, you know, I just cleaned, they're messing it up, or I'm not as good as she is, or, you know, I think my kids deserve a better mom or I'm never able to be on top of the house. My house isn't always clean. I mean, come on, you guys, we could go on and on. But the reality is, is we need to just stop and just take in where we are, even if this season you're in is super difficult. Please just try to be reflective in this time and think about what what I believe is God or whoever you believe or whatever you believe. What are, they, what, what are you trying to be taught in this season? Because I believe that even through trials, there will be triumph. And doesn't mean it's gonna be easy, and it surely doesn't mean it's gonna be peaceful or pretty, but I am certain that if you're obedient in doing whatever you are called to do during this season, that there will be blessings in the end. And one thing I really want to say to you moms, that being a mother is a calling. Just like your husband may be called into ministry, just like your spouse may be called into some line of work, please, please, please know that being a homemaker with kids or no kids is a calling, it is a duty, and most of all, it is a sacrifice. So please be kind to yourself, love on yourself. Self-care is not selfish. It is something that needs to be done. You cannot pour out of an empty cup. And I want you to take time for yourself and realize that you are doing a great, great work. You know, you might not change the world, you know, individually, but you may be changing the world by the children you raise or the impact you have on others. So rest assured that you are here for a reason. You are worthy and you are loved. I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh, but then you came and sat right next to me. Your eyes, they glow. As you see, I am just tidying up the boys' room. I'm going to start putting away some clothes. One of you guys asked me where the little puppy is and you will see her pop in here very so soon. So keep your eyes on the screen. She was so cute. 
cannot wait to show you what she looks like. She has grown so much and I cannot believe how much I love her. I mean, just, I really cannot believe how much I love that dog. I will most likely be using my other vacuum for the carpeted areas. I really liked this for the hard surfaces, but I was trying to get in and out of here quickly, so I decided to use it and it worked just fine. I just want to remind you guys if you are enjoying this video and you haven't yet already would you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join my youtube family because when you are here you are family and you mean so much to me and i would love to have you Okay, so I want to show you this. I pulled the pot out. You know, it was little. That's right. It's a pod. He's a pod. And this is, yeah, it's a pod. And so obviously you see it fills up the canister. And when you're done and you're supposed to clean it out, you never, ever, ever come into contact with any of the dust. That's pretty darn cool. Onto my office here. I'm gonna start breaking down the box here and cleaning up all of the mess from pulling this vacuum out. Josiah was excited to help me and to use it, so he is gonna come in here and be my little helper. I will say that I like that there's no trigger to turn the vacuum on. It's just a dial on the back, which is great because with the other one, I felt like my hand would get very tired if I was vacuuming for a long time. I really love having my kids help me clean. When Noah gets in the mood, he is a great cleaner. Honestly, they all really are when they are up for it. But I am trying to let go of my perfection and just let them help. And you'll see that's what I do here. He helped me so much and then when he left, I was able to go behind him and clean up a little bit and he said he was done and he was tired. He even scraped up some of the um, drywall that had dripped on the floors here. He scraped that up for me so that was a great help. We had the ceiling sprayed one time and we didn't love the way it came out. We have what you can call knockdown texture on our ceilings. So they came back last week and did it again and now it looks fantastic. Again, I cannot wait to show you what the kitchen is going to look like. So you guys make sure you stick around for that future video. We've got a neighbor friend coming in and looking at the progress. He also just redid his kitchen as well as our neighbor across the street. So it's kind of fun. All of us just talking about the things that we're doing and bouncing ideas off of each other. It's really been a lot of fun. And I told him that if we can't redo this house and make it more suitable for our family size that we would be moving. And he was like, uh-uh, no moving. We will help you renovate your house. I was really grateful for that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you made it all the way to the end, I just 
really want to say thank you. It really means so much to me. You could be anywhere and you chose to spend time with me. That's a big deal in my book. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And those who come and show up for me every single week, I just, I love you all. And I just appreciate each and every one of you. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Lynn White, mom of five, doing all things homemaking here. Lots of cleaning motivation, tons of decorating and organizing and decluttering and all of that. So I'm so glad you are here today. We have been kicking off the spring cleaning series. I started my first cleaning video of the series last Sunday. I spent over three and a half hours cleaning the bathrooms deep cleaning not your mama's normal bathroom cleaning so i will have that in my description box below but today we are going to be doing a speed cleaning i've actually got a to-do list i've started just to help me stay on track i'll be going through all of the tasks on here to help me get this house ready i have more spring cleaning videos ready to go so i want to go ahead and tackle the mess in here just normal real life mess um, we've been in the midst of a kitchen renovation, so I feel like everything is everywhere. In today's video, we're going to be doing the clutter in there. We're going to be organizing the kitchen. I'm going to be putting the food in the new pantry. I've got all these pull-out drawers, so I'm really excited about that. I've got containers here. I'm ready to go. We are organizing everything in this house, so we are going to be tackling this together. So it's like a Thursday to-do list, spring to-do list, decluttering, organizing, just doing what needs to be done because that's basically what we have to do around here. So I'm also really excited because today's video is going to be in collaboration with Tiffany from Beauty and the Beastons. I know you already know who she is. I think we all do. She constantly inspires and motivates us by just being real and down to earth. So if you guys have not been over to Tiffany's channel or you haven't been subscribed, you got to do that. As soon as you're done watching this video, would you go over there, let her know that Lynn sent you. I have nothing but amazing things to say about her. She is someone that I feel like gets me on a much deeper level. If I'm just being completely transparent, um, I get her, she gets me, and it's just been a really beautiful friendship. Very encouraging very uplifting. Before she and I became real life friends, I would watch her channel and her videos, they connected with me. And I know they will do the same for you. She's got a beautiful family with the most beautiful children and they are starting their process on trying to conceive their fourth. So we've both been talking, me do six, her do four, six kids here, four kids there. That's a lot of babies, but we are all so blessed and I'm definitely blessed to have Tiffany in my life. Again, go check out her channel. You will not be disappointed. Most down to earth, gorgeous mama out there. So please go check her out. And if you're from Tiffany's channel, I'm so glad you're here. When you're here, you are family. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you go any further. We have a ton of amazing videos coming up. Also, let me know if you're here from Tiffany's channel so I can welcome you. So I'm going to get to do this to-do list and let these puppies outside because somebody always needs something in this house. Can I get an amen? Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off in my bedroom. I always like to start off in either the kitchen or the bedroom. I feel like the rest of the task that I need to do, cleaning, errands, whatever the case may be, flows so much smoother as long as I start in there. 
I am someone that makes my bed every single morning. Let me know in the comments below, are you a bed maker or you don't even care? Even if it's late at night, I will make my bed before I get in it. I love getting into a just made bed. It just feels so good. take down um, Hazel's crate. I had really good intentions when I got the puppy to put her in there in crate trainer, but the crying at night just broke my heart. I do not do well with my puppies or babies crying, so she ended up in the bed with me. So I'm gonna clean under the crate, lots of little furries and dust bunnies here, and try to get this room feeling nice and fresh. I noticed when I was cleaning that the dust on the walls was really building up, which is really embarrassing. So I know that I'm gonna do more of a dusting in the house and in here especially, but not on this particular day. So I went ahead and just swept some of the dust off of the walls. I will be doing a an official spring cleaning of the bedrooms with the fans and the ceilings and the baseboards. But today I was just trying to get the house picked up and not so messy. My groceries were delivered. I like to use shipped and have them delivered so I can stay out of Target as much as possible because I feel like I always leave with more than I intended on getting. So once I realized that shipped, there was not an extra charge for Target groceries, I was hooked. So I had the groceries delivered and now I'm gonna put them in these acrylic bins. I got these from Home Goods. The majority of organizational type items are from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and home goods. I love the things they have, and of course, they're on discount, so that makes me super happy. I have been so ready to organize the pantry. Chris put the drawers in just the night before, and this makes me so incredibly happy, you guys. I have not had a pantry going on two months, so this is seriously amazing. Now that I was able to empty out some of the drawers, I'm gonna use this one in particular for my coffee and tea. I'm so happy to do this so I can clear up space on the counter. So 
today has been ooh, rather eventful. I had to stop and take the vacuum to Dyson because nothing is working right now and I need that little cord vacuum or cordless vacuum so bad. So I ran real quick to take that to Dyson. It has been on my to-do list for so long. So I just did it, finally did it. Came home, had the groceries delivered by ship. Helped me stay out of Target. Um, you saw me put those away. Now I'm gonna start dinner. It's about 3.30 right now in the afternoon. I'm gonna start that so it can slow simmer so I can get the rest of the stuff done. Tonight I'm gonna make this fire roasted tomato pasta and it's got sausage and penne pasta. It's delicious, it's super easy, and it is so flavorful. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that really quick before we get going on the rest of the stuff. So I don't have a lot of good lighting in here so you'll have to forgive me. We're still waiting to get the electricity put back on in the kitchen. I start off with Jimmy Dean all natural sausage. I do not eat anything with MSG, so this is the type I prefer and it is yummy, you guys. So I would encourage you to give it a shot. I got it at Target. I'm sure any grocery or grocery, grocery store sells it very, very good. I'm gonna use two cans of the crushed fryer roasted tomatoes and I got a can of tomato sauce just in case. I'm gonna add the two cups or the two cans of the tomato sauce. The sausage is browned about 95%. Any of the other little pieces, it's fine. It will cook in the sauce. I decided to go ahead and add a little bit more of the tomato sauce just to make it really just yummy and juicy because I'm gonna add the noodles to it. Do salt and pepper to your taste. This looks like a lot of salt, but it really isn't. It's a grinder. And I actually got this for Christmas. I love it. It is battery powered. Take some fennel seed. Again, you can season it to taste, but I like fennel seed. Onion powder, Italian seasoning, and stir up and let it slow simmer. So the ship lady was supposed to give me penny pasta, but she gave me elbow and that's fine. It'll work just fine. It'll be just fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, so it's time to check in with my to-do list a little bit. So I did make the bed. I did my shipped groceries, I did my Dyson repair. If I start feeling like I'm getting all over the place because there are so many moving parts, get a little overwhelmed with what I have to do, I will just check in with my to-do list and it kind of helps me ground, it kind of grounds me a little bit. So if you guys start feeling like oh, frazzled, make a to-do list and if you have a to-do list, go ahead and start checking things off. Even things that you have already done, there's something about that satisfaction of checking things off that just feels really, really good. So it's like instant gratification. So that's what I've been needing to do because I definitely feel myself like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. Um, today's been one of those days where, let me let her down. Today's been one of those days where it's like one thing after another, but that's life. I can't control that. But what I can control is grounding myself and getting focused and doing the things that I need to do because I know if I do these things, then I will, even though I don't feel like it, I'd rather just go bury my head and not do anything. But because I know that I have things to do and that it's gonna feel good to accomplish them, I'm gonna do them. So we made the bed. I put away the crate. I need to vacuum, make the bed. Um, still need to go there. Put the food in the pantry. Um, I'm not doing that yet. I think I'm going to do that. I might do that tomorrow. This might turn into two days. Did my groceries, Dyson repair. Right, next thing I'm going to do is move on to my office and pick up some of the papers. We're going to start moving things back into the dining room and the living room like where it needs to go. As you can see, there's still stuff everywhere. So I'm going to work on this before I lose too many light, too much light, excuse me. Chris is going to be adding a light at the top for me. There are no lights in this dining or this uh, front room. Ruby surely doesn't look like she is worried about one thing, huh? The 
the majority of the papers in here are from my kids. The hall tree is in here and that's where they put their backpacks when they come home from school. And when they start to do their homework, they usually just throw everything on the floor. Um, I'm gonna have a recycling bin for them very soon in here for them to take care of it. I am usually on top of it and honestly they are too. But with the renovations going on, we have all just been a little lax and we are getting back into our schedule very soon. Let me know if you guys would like another routine video of just how we get through our day. This office is another room on my list. I need to order the wallpaper and I am gonna completely rearrange this space. I'm ready to make it look beautiful and just have a great place to be creative and to do my work. I am going to prune my peace lily. I've had her for quite some time and while they were doing the drywall and the sanding, I put it outside and I feel like that burned some of the leaves. So I did Google how to do this and they said take off any of the brown leaves right at the bottom and then trim in, trim any of the brown spots on the leaves. So that is what I'm doing. I was very nervous to do this because she was looking rather bare, but I know this process is just temporary because once all of the dead and the yucky stuff is gone, she'll be able to bloom and be beautiful again. I'm going to add the cooked pasta. The elbow actually worked just fine. It didn't bother me one bit. I mean, pasta is pasta in my opinion. So as you can see, I'm very, uh, I have to multitask while one thing is cooking. I have to go clean. That's how it goes. You know how it is. And I am gonna serve this up for Chris. But as you will see in the next few clips, he did not get to get to it first. I did. It was so amazing. So then I'm going to top with a little bit of ricotta cheese and drizzle with olive oil, add a little fresh oregano, and we are good to go. Whoa, this is good. Usually I use the penne pasta, but Oh my goodness. If y'all been here for a while, you know it's dance worthy. Let's sit here for a minute to take the dish. I was just gonna take a bite. Mmm. This is good. That was really, really tasty. Wow. All right, next thing on the to-do list. Holy moly. It's been a long time since I've made that. Just been making regular, regular spaghetti. All right, prune plant, pick up papers. Ta-da. Now I need to order the wallpaper. I gotta order the wallpaper for my floor. Well, hey, Hazel Basil, my lucky love nuts. It is after dinner and I'm gonna use these containers for the cereal. I got these from Target. I saw them home goods. I did not pick them up, so I had to go to Target and get them and they were a little more expensive. But anything to keep the cereal fresh, I am down for it because I am so tired of cereal getting stale. And these are really cool. You just pop them on and they are sealed tight. I showed these microfiber cloths in my last video. I got a pack of 10. I love the color. You guys know if you've been here for a while, this is one of my favorite colors of all time. 
and I'm gonna put in this little bin here. This was actually a freezer bin that I got probably two years ago and it's just been sitting there in storage so I decided to go ahead and use it again from Marshalls. Almost everything is Target, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. That is my jam y'all. So I'm gonna roll all these up and put in here just little things to make me feel happy when I am trying to clean. Josiah helped me organize this utensil drawer. He was so proud of himself, and honestly, I was quite proud of him too. But when not in the shadows can ease your broken heart. While putting all of the bins back in the pantry. Yay, I'm so happy. I cannot even express to you my happiness. I'm also gonna put some of the containers in here. And I am gonna make this like my baking area. I made these labels myself on my silhouette machine and I'm also gonna go ahead and add the shelves. Okay friends, it is day two and we are gonna mark more things off of our to-do list. We are now gonna clean the refrigerator because it was looking nasty. Our goal is to get a new fridge. There are some broken parts on the inside. So we're gonna do that, but we are wanting to pay cash for that. So it's gonna take us a little bit of time, but you know what, that is okay. That is the way it needs to be. So for the longest time, I wasn't cleaning this thing out because I'm like, I'm just gonna get a new one. But then my husband told me to pump my brakes and wait a hot minute so i realized okay i'll go ahead and clean it and be happy with what i've got and make the best out of what i've got and that is exactly what i'm going to do so i'm going to clean this baby out really really good and then i will be using my thieves household cleaner it's just a glass bottle with two cap full of thieves with some distilled water and that is it you guys and my microfiber cloth and we are good to go I was going to take all of the parts out of the refrigerator, but honestly, my countertops are full with putting things back in the cabinets. So I decided this go around, I'm just gonna wipe everything down. Let me know how often do you clean out your refrigerator? I try to stay on top of mine, especially when I'm going to the grocery store. I like to go ahead and clean it out. Um, but like I had said, I have not done the greatest job recently. I will tell you this thieves cleaner is my favorite to use in here. Whenever like the kitchen and anything around food or where my kids are gonna be, I love using thieves. You only have to use a cap full or two and so much goes a long way. Like 
These labels I also made from my silhouette machine. I just felt extra one day and decided to do it. And I have so many more labels I need to make. So if you guys are ever interested, just let me know and I could definitely let you know how much that would be. But usually there are some creative ways that you can use dollar store stickers or all kinds of things. If you wanna start labeling things and you don't have a vinyl cutter, just Pinterest it and I'm telling you, there's a lot of things you can do. Time for the freezer side. You can see that Josiah, my smoothie loving baby, spilled his smoothie everywhere. So I definitely need to tackle this today and I'm gonna spray this with my cleaner as well. I tried to use a regular old paper towel but it was not cutting it so I will have to use a microfiber cloth. I cannot believe how well they clean up messes. zone with cleaning I did not want to have to get up but the paper towel had a good run and it was definitely time to use my cloth these are amazing I'm not sure if I mentioned it but I got it from Marshalls I'm probably gonna go get another pack because a I love the color B I love having all the same color not a whole bunch of mix match and they work so well when I'm with you I feel so much better oh yeah before you I was just a shell so stuck in the dark my goal is to get a french door refrigerator we want to get a counter depth one but again we're going to wait to do that for a little while we also want to get a new dishwasher and i would be very elated if i could get a new stove and microwave but you know I do love to dream. So as I'm putting the food back into the freezer, I want to let you know, if you guys are curious, that the bins that they are in, like I think the little teal one, any of the bins, honestly, um, in the freezer are from the Dollar Tree. That is always a win for me. I love Dollar Tree containers. I feel like they're not very sturdy, but when it comes to like the garage or the freezer or things like that, or just like extra rags, crafts, they work 
great. But when I want to use something that's really sturdy, I'm always going to go somewhere else. I noticed I had two open containers of smoothie fruit as well as you saw earlier the waffles so I'm gonna take this time to start condensing some things to make more space I'm gonna throw away any of the old food or expired food that we no longer need. I like doing this before I go to the grocery store typically because then I don't buy extra items. I also love to declutter no matter what part of the house because it really keeps me in check with buying things. When you see yourself getting rid of clothes or even food or no, no matter what it is, you realize you don't usually need to go out and buy more stuff. So it is definitely a good reality check for me. Time for our check-in. I like to check in to keep myself on task and see what I've crossed off. Like I mentioned earlier, instant gratification. The last thing I need to do is vacuum. I'm using my water vacuum. I love this thing. This It's not as easy to get out, obviously, because it's got a cord, but man, when you see what it picks up, it is mind-blowing, and I will show you what will be in the canister after I do just this rug. We are done. I have done my to-do list. I'm feeling really good. I just want to encourage you guys, if it takes you more than a day to do whatever's on your to-do list, don't let that discourage you. Not everybody has the time or the ability to do it all in one day. So give yourself grace if it takes you a couple of days. It took me two days and I am just fine with it because you know what? I checked stuff off things got done and at the end of the day that's what matters you don't need to compete with anybody you don't need to do more than you can do always try to push yourself a little bit but listen if it's got to take you two days just get back at it when you can you are so important you are so worthy and you are so so amazing so thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope it encouraged you let me know if you want these Thursday to-do list videos. I can do them every Thursday, but you gotta let me know in the comments below. If you're here from Tiffany's channel, thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad you are here. I would love for you to join my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. I have so many good videos coming up. We're gonna be doing the Sunday spring cleaning series as well as if you want me to do the Thursday to-do list, I would love to do that. I'm gonna have an updated spring home tour showing off the kitchen as well as lots of cleaning motivation, a lot of decorating, decluttering, and organizing in all things homemaking just 
trying to make homemaking fun again because we got to do this we might as well have fun and we can have fun together so i would love for you to join me thank you all so 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 much for being here i love you more than you know and make sure you head over to tiffany's channel and let her know that lynn sent you you will not be disappointed i love you all here mama of five doing all things cleaning decor organizing a little recipes a lot of motherhood lifestyle here on my channel today we are going to be doing a spring cleaning we are coming to the end of the kitchen renovation thank you lord you guys i'm so ready for spring i'm so ready to bring in like the pastel colors and just kind of fix this place up a little bit. I'm excited to be doing this with you guys today. We are gonna be doing a spring cleaning, so any place that I see, like the fans or the window sills or whatever, I'm gonna tackle that in this video as well. So it's gonna be a lot of cleaning motivation and inspiration. So I'm so excited that you are here today and we are gonna have fun doing this together. I am also so excited because today's video is a collaboration with my sweet friend, Emily, from this crazy cleaning mama. She just had a baby and she is doing her thing. She inspires me and motivates me so so much and she's honestly just the sweetest soul so i would love for you guys to go check out her channel after you are done watching today's video you're gonna love all her cleaning motivation that she provides also she is a boss like i said she just gave birth and she is deep clean in her house i mean like yes she's amazing so we have similar content on our channels and i know you are going to love her love 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 as much as i do if you're coming from emily's channel thank you so much for being here i am so thankful for you go ahead and hit the subscribe button before you go any further and we are going to start cleaning this house i've got this feeling so as you can imagine with having five kids the laundry is ongoing um, on this particular day I did about five loads of laundry um, I need to get on a better schedule I have said that so many times let me know in the comments like what is your laundry schedule how do you stay on top of it because this is just one area that I am not good in at all I need to do at least a load a day and I just I get lazy, just point blank, I get lazy, so I definitely need some help. Without you, baby, without you. these containers I got them from Walmart they were about five dollars I guess they're like drink dispensers but with the laundry detergent it did not flow smoothly it always just got so like clogged up and now with this it is dripping so I have found some really cool glass jars off of Amazon with a pump I have them in my Amazon favorites but in my next video you will see those jars they are so pretty I showed them on Instagram as well because they're so unique looking and it's gonna be so much better than these drink dispensers as you can see I was getting ready to put the dishes in the dishwasher and then realized they were all done and clean and I had to unload it real quick has that ever happened to anybody it's like you're ready to just fill up that dishwasher and then when you say you have to put dishes away sometimes I honestly want to just say forget it I don't want to do this anymore but I pushed through I made it happen if you guys can see there Chris put the handles on the cabinets and I'm so happy because it looks so much better and they are so much easy easier to open Tell me what you wanna do. I think we're part 
to something bigger And now my mind is filled with you Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know Baby, with her Now time to load up the dishwasher. I try to do this earlier in the day, at least unload it. That way it's ready to get filled back up throughout the day and especially around dinner time. We can put all of our dinner dishes in there. It makes it so much easier. And then we like to run it in the evening. That way in the morning it is ready to go for us again. shift you guys hear me talk about it all the time it keeps me out of target um it just works for me if you guys want a code let me know i'll just put one in my description box so you guys can do it too it's amazing for my birthday i ordered myself some mom jeans i hope they fit i've definitely been working on my weight loss journey um and it sure does help when i am overwhelmed i don't like eating those look really small so we'll see if they fit we'll see i'm literally gonna put them on right now well okay so usually i comfortably wear <laughs> i comfortably wear um an eight these are a six and they fit so good um I saw so many, and I love that they come up high. I, if y'all see me wearing mom jeans, they're usually um, Walmart, which I'm obsessed with. These are great. Um, I love them. I saw Tara Henderson wearing them, and I'm like, I have to have them. They're usually like, let me see, really expensive, but you guys know me. I don't buy anything for price. So I got them for $33 and I think they were originally like maybe 70. That was really good. Then I got this top. I'll show you guys. It's like an animal print. Oh, I love it. It's a medium. It's like an animal print. Y'all know I'm such a basic girl. Like the shirt I'm wearing here is from my friend's boutique, Lala She Boutique. And so this, these feel really good actually. I feel like I feel like they fit perfect, honestly. And then I got this really beautiful top. Um, it's got the balloon sleeves, or like, like the puff sleeves, which I love. I've always loved. I'm a little nervous, because I'm not gonna lie, I sweat, and I wouldn't want it to show through, but this is really, really pretty. Let me try it on. I have birthed five children, so. But I really love this. I mean, it is a medium. I feel like it would be really cute tucked in um let's see yeah i actually think it's really cute tucked in with like my slides my um animal print slides i think they're really cute so i mean i have lost some weight and i can definitely tell i mean i've been just trying to watch what i eat but this is what it looks like and i'm kind of loving it honestly Let's try it with my slides. 
So I've got my slides here. These are from Target. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. What do you think? So obviously I've got a ton of laundry that needs to be done, but are these not the cutest jeans? The cutest mom jeans ever? And I mean, it is cute. Like if you wanted to go to dinner and you wanted to wear it with these or, and I did get a tattoo for my birthday. It says, trust the process. I'm kind of loving it. What do you think? I will try to find the link to both of these things, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good about it. I'm not too mad about it. Okay, I gotta put my other clothes back on. I've gotta finish cleaning. See, this is the thing I get so, so distracted, but ah, how cute would these be with this top? I think it'd be so precious. So I guess since I have groceries, I'll just show you what I got really quick. Um, let me get on the floor here because I haven't put them away just yet, but I got the kids some. Give me a second here. Okay, I got the kids some lunch snacks. I got this Downy Nature Blends, this plant-based aloe and rose water detergent. I got some corn for uh, corn casserole today. We're gonna have barbecue chicken in the Instapot and um, corn casserole. And then I got some, let me throw in you guys around. So I got some Cinnabon uh, Keurig. I love these, especially before I go work out. These are so good. I got myself a toothbrush. This is gonna go with the corn casserole for Noah. I was like, this child can't hear me, and it's true, he can't. He has so much earwax in his ear. Do you guys have any kids that have like a massive amount of earwax? That might sound gross, but we clean his ears out, but it builds up so quick. I got these, the, let me get you in focus here. These are so good. This is kind of like Nespresso. It's compatible with Nespresso machines. They're $3.99 for 10 of them, it's so tasty. Uh, toothpaste, some potatoes, some Honeycrisp apples, some, my dogs know when this bag comes out. Ooh, Ruby says, what? There we go. Some of these. Um, Paper towels, bubbly chicken, creamer. I got caramel creamer. I don't know what is going on with my camel camera, you guys. It's in and out. Um, hold on. Okay, some silk, vanilla, almond, pizza for the kids, yogurt, broccoli, more bubbly, all natural sausage, bread, and gluten free bagels. And that is a wrap. So let me open this. You guys are gonna see how precious these dogs are. Just give me a second. So here we treat our animals like they are very much our children. So I like to get them little special treats every so often. Hazel! Here she comes. Hazel! Mommy got you treats! Hi girls! Hi! Sit. Good girl. Okay. Hazel, hey, let me see your face. Happy girl. Here's a better look. I showed you guys in my last video, the rug that I got. I love it so much. I got it from Boutique Rugs and I will have a link for you guys. So it's just a runner, a two foot by seven foot runner. And I think it's beautiful.
going to use one of my microfiber cloths, going to get it wet and wipe down the countertops. I got these from Marshalls, a pack of 10 for $4.99, I think it was. I thought it was $9.99, but when I was in there the other day, it said $4.99. So you guys got to run out and go get them. I love these cloths. I mean, this is my favorite color and having all the same color makes me so, so happy. But also just how well they clean. These are a great buy. to interrupt this video real quick and say if you guys are enjoying this video would you go ahead and hit that like button it would mean so much to me it's totally free and easy to do and it just lets me know that hey you are enjoying this video and if you want to take it a step further i would love for you to consider joining my youtube family would you hit that subscribe button that would mean the world to me and it lets me know that, hey, you want me to continue to do these videos and you would like to join my YouTube family, which uh, I would love to have you. I'm gonna wipe down the cabinets. They are looking so, so dirty. We have the new cabinet doors but I need to paint them. So it's just another thing on my to-do list. I'm hoping to get that done this week. Um, I'm so ready for this kitchen to be done. I know I say it so much and I don't want to negate the fact that, hey, this is a huge blessing to have my kitchen renovated. I know that and I'm so grateful, but I'm also ready for my kitchen back. I am taking this cheese tray or cheese and cracker tray I got from Home Goods. It was $19.99, and I am putting um, these canisters on here. I got them from Walmart for $5 each, little drink dispensers. The other one that had the detergent in it did not work well because the detergent was too thick. And this is working fine, or it has been, but now it's leaking. So I'm so excited for you guys to see the new beautiful glass jars I got. I'm so ready um, in my next video you guys will see that my next video this week so make sure you guys are subscribed so you see that it's coming up and it is gonna be a spring clean and decorate and y'all we are gonna get so much done I am so ready to get all my fall decor out and I cannot wait to show you all the fun cute stuff I got So in my last video, I actually vacuumed the top of this table and one of you guys said, I've never seen that done before and you are right. That is my, you know, I don't want to say lazy, but let's just say creative way to clean all of the kinetic sand out of the grooves of the table. I let the kids play with it on here and it was everywhere. So vacuum in the table it must be so this is day two of cleaning and i am going to start off by stripping the bed and washing the sheets and the duvet cover i'm still on the hunt for a good duvet cover i like this one but it's too big um, i need 110 inches by 96 inches and that is not an easy size to follow but i'm going to wash all the sheets and get ready to deep clean this room spring clean this room like a song like a perfect going to start wrapping up Chris's tens machine he's got back pain and this thing helps so so much so I'm going to wrap it up and put it in the closet so it doesn't collect any more dust So
I'm going to clean off our nightstands and then I am going to clean all of the strips of tissue paper that Hazel got into. I told you guys she is a messy, messy, messy girl and she rips up paper and socks and brings all the things out into the yard. So I am trying to pick that up. I'm going to start cleaning off my side here. At first I sprayed this uh, wood polish on here and used the duster, but I felt like it was just making it too goopy. So I ended up just getting the duster, my e-cloth, which I love, love, love. But I always like to spray my dust, dusters, so the dust that I'm cleaning up doesn't get back in the air. It's just my little tip for you I don't want to breathe that back in so I'm gonna wipe it down so in the future definitely dust it first and then spray the polisher on there that'll make things so much easier I am using my oldie but a goodie Windex and cleaning all of the mirrors. I got these mirrors from Kirkland and I love them. I feel like it really opens up this room. The rooms in this house are very small. Um, we just actually took the kids bunk beds down and it just showed us how small. I mean you can barely put two twin beds in one room and so my master bedroom is on the smaller side but having mirrors in small rooms make them feel so much bigger so that is a little tip I am doing the same method, wiping it down with my duster here. These are the Swiffer duster, I think for animals. They're a little bit thicker and they really grab the dust great. And then I'm gonna use my Guardsman polisher and it's for wood and wipe everything down with my e-cloth. One thing about this black furniture, and if you have dark colored furniture, you know what I am talking about. All dust shows up on here like crazy. I got done dusting, finished cleaning, came back in here, and it was, it looked like it was covered again. I'm not even exaggerating, so I ended up dusting it again. I don't know how to get the dust out of the air. We change our filters regularly, but it is so crazy, and you can see it. Even after all this time I spent in this room, it looked like it needed to be cleaned again. We'll be running with the lions, lions. We'll be running with the lions, lions. They can't run, they can't hide. We won't stop until they're down. We'll be running with the lions, lions. Tell me cause I'm looking out for you This can 
together No, you're not alone in this No We're gonna find them And I'm gonna fight for you They better start hiding We'll be running with the lions, lions I want to encourage you guys, if you are here from Emily's channel, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to welcome you, and I just always want to tell you guys how much you mean to me. I just, I'm doing my dream job, and it's because of each and every one of you, and if I am not able to respond right away, please forgive me. I am trying. I get so many comments, but if I heart your comment, then I saw it, and I'm thinking of you, but no matter what. Thank you for being here. You mean the world to me. We'll be running with the lions, lions. Oh, we'll be running with the lions, lions. Oh, they can't run. They can't. I'm going to come into my bathroom and start cleaning off the countertops and then wiping everything down. So I wanted to let you guys know I ordered the most beautiful stencil. I am going to be stenciling in my house. I'm thinking I'm going to do the hallway and then the arches and like the entryway where the kitchen and well where the entryway was. I'm so ready to do all the fun things and then I found the most beautiful antique chairs I'm having trouble with them but I am recovering not recovering them I'm repainting them so the home tour my spring home tour I am prepping for it and I cannot wait again don't give up we're holding on for what it's worth i'll try to change we can't fix our broken hearts i want to let you guys know if you would like to know how to properly um, clean and seal your granite or stone whatever you may have in your bathroom or kitchen i have my video my very first spring cleaning video that i did this year shows you how to do that and it is so important that you stay on top of it now is the time spring cleaning you got to do these types of things so i'm going to have my spring cleaning playlist in the description box below you guys check it out it is the one that just says spring cleaning really big on it and it will show you how to clean your granite and any stone you may have in your house it is so hard to get a good angle in this bathroom so i'm just going to show you real quick that i wipe everything down with the clorox wipe and then i will clean it with a clorox toilet wand that is what i've been using and loving it's disposable and it makes me happy but first i wipe the uh, light switches down and then i start from the top to the bottom with the little disposable wipe Wait a second, I don't need you, then why 
always so settled I miss with you Still it feels just like I'm waiting for Something better after I dust and do everything that I need to do in here, I like to vacuum. I like that to be the very last thing I do after dusting. That way I can get any of the dust out of the air and off of the floor. So on this day here in Florida, it was about 65 degrees, somewhere in there. Um, for spring or during the springtime for us, the weather is like high 60s, 70s, and there are some days that it gets into the 80s. There was a day last week it got, I think, to 83, at least that's what my car said. So you never know how to dress. That's why you all sometimes see me in a sweater and shorts. Almost like 95% of the time you will see me in sandals of some sort. Let me know in the comments below, what does spring feel like where you're at? Is it still cold? Is it really warm? I'm always really curious here. It's just all over the place. But one thing is for sure is I love to open the doors and the windows and let all that fresh air in. You guys, if you have an opportunity to let some fresh air in, do it. The air quality in your house is so much worse than outside, believe it or not. So if you can get some fresh air, just try your best to open those doors up. I mean, it makes me feel so good. I'm gonna finish vacuuming my room and try to get under anything that I can possibly move. So I moved the nightstands and the chairs and getting under the bed as much as possible on the dresser. When I am doing a deep clean, whether it's spring or it really doesn't matter, I like to move furniture and try to get around the baseboards. Um, I also, I'm not sure if it showed it or not, but I took that duster and I went along the walls. I noticed dust was collecting up there as well. Um, I don't always see that, but you'll be surprised how much the dust collects on your walls. So taking that, that duster is a lifesaver for things like that, honestly. But I'm just gonna finish up vacuuming and you guys, this vacuum is a lifesaver. It cleans so, so well. If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can't always stay here forever. 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 I watch you as you sleep. You don't know. With you everything's complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving Time to start folding some of this laundry. This was the first load I did. I had so much more. I did not show it in this video because it would have been a really long video. But I'm gonna tackle this load and then put it away. Stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can't always stay here forever. 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 
I had noticed the furniture was looking really dingy. This is why I wanted leather furniture because when I had the cream sofa, I was constantly trying to clean it and it just stressed me out. I love the white and the cream sofas, but it just doesn't work in this family. So the leather has been great. So I'm using one of my microfiber cloths, a warm one, no soap, no nothing, and just wiping everything down. You guys, I got so much dirt off of here. I was so surprised. I cannot do anything without this puppy trying to take whatever I'm cleaning with and runs off with it. She is crazy. Like I told you, all of our socks now have holes in them. And whenever I'm cleaning, she is right behind me trying to take my rags. So I think this is the first time you have seen the dining room table put back in its spot. Yes, I was so happy. I've got the same old rug that I had in the front room. I just put it down. I was on the fence about putting a rug in here because hashtag kids. But I mean, I don't usually put rugs in the dining room, but it looks so pretty and I feel like it really softens up this area with the dark wood and then the color of the um, table. I was gonna paint it, but I really feel like more and more, I am just not into DIY. I don't have time. I don't have the energy and at this point I don't have the patience so I'm leaving it as it is I'm leaving the rug it softens up the area and I'm gonna make the best out of this space the last thing on my list to clean was the kids bathroom I did not show actually cleaning the toilet area just because the light keeps going out in here and it just it was just no good. And you saw me clean one toilet. You don't need to see me clean two. So I'm gonna wipe down their bathroom. Obviously I took the laundry out of here and then I'm gonna wipe everything down exactly the same way I did in my bathroom. If you guys are still here with me, let me know in the comments below with the heart emoji or whatever you choose to use. Just let me know that you're here so I can say thank you. It means so much to me when you guys show up and then when you watch my video in its entirety, that is a big deal. It really, really is, so thank you. It would mean the world to me if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you go any further. It's totally free and it just lets me know that you liked what you saw. It would mean so much to me. Don't forget to go check out my friend Emily. You're going to love her. She's so motivational, so inspirational, and I have learned so much from her. So I know you guys are going to love her and let her know that Lynn sent you. Don't forget that my next video is going to be a spring clean and decorate, and we're going to have so much fun. So make sure you guys are here next week. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new I am so glad you're here today we are going to be doing spring cleaning and 
spring decorating. So I'm gonna be getting the Easter stuff out, pastel colors, and I'm gonna liven this space up a bit. I have lots of blue and gray tones in the house, and I love when spring and summer comes because that's the time I can throw in the pastel pinks and my aquas, although I have aqua all the time because y'all know that's my favorite color. But we are gonna do that today. I'm gonna be cleaning the kitchen and the living room and my bedroom. I was gonna try to do the dining room today, but unfortunately, my husband started painting the patches on the ceiling from all of the renovation work, and it looks like we're gonna have to take the paint through the entire house. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bummed about it, but you know what? It is what it is. I'll show you if you can see it. Can you see the variation of color? So like, okay, so this is all the new paint. This is the old paint. This was all the new patchwork, and we had all the arches up there. So, I was going to do the dining room. I was so excited to get the cube system back in here, but it's off limits because the table is there. However, I'm so excited because the countertops came in, you guys. Look at this. I am so... Oh my gosh, I am in love. I also wanted to let you guys know that today's video is in collaboration with my sweet friend, Adeline Zook. We have done quite a few videos together because I have so much respect for her and I just love her. She has been such a blessing to my life. She has got the cutest little girls, three of them, and she is an amazing mama doing all things, cleaning and cooking, motherhood lifestyle, ton of DIYs and everything in between. You guys, if you haven't checked out her channel yet, after you watch this video, I would love for you to head over that way and let her know that Lynn sent you. And if you're coming from Adeline's channel, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before we go any further. We have similar content on our channels and I would love to have you join my YouTube family. Look at all of the specks of like glitter or I don't know what never, that is never in there. Down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling for your viewing satisfaction, I'm going to start in the kitchen. It's not too terribly messy in here, but I have some deep cleaning that needs to get done to do the appliances, the stove, and back here before we add the new um, pieces in here because this got moved up. So I'm going to take care of all of this today. Tons of stuff on the countertops and bar, like always. Laundry. Guys, I am loving the way the kitchen has turned out. As you can see, the countertops are in as I showed you and I am just so obsessed with them. It is a lot of white, I will be honest, and I wasn't expecting to have the island white, but those were the only, that and espresso and a dark gray were the only colors offered. So I went ahead and decided to do the white because I'll just go ahead and paint that later on. Um, and then as the walls go, they're very white as well. But if you remember the drama with the couch and having to paint all the walls, I did not realize we would be doing the kitchen. So yeah, it's a lot of white, but I mean, it's really wide open and it will show very well when we go to sell the house, which that has been put on the back burner. We were planning on doing that around June, but I just don't feel in my heart that that's a good idea right now. And I would really like to enjoy the kitchen. Um, some things didn't turn out exactly the way I had planned. So plan B, we will not be selling right now. So um, if we decide to stay here long term, I will be painting the walls again. And you guys know how much I love to paint. We can just insert some sarcasm right there. Do not like to paint, not one bit. Um, but if we're going to stay here, I will need to do something because that's a lot of white. The walls are just not going to work with the white cabinets or maybe it will, maybe it'll grow on me. I don't know yet, but I like color. So we shall see. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't 
kitchen wasn't very messy today and so I'm just gonna put what I need to into the dishwasher you guys don't see it but every so often in some of the clips you'll see Hazel at my feet she wants to lay down and she wants someone to lay with her so she will follow me around until I sit and she'll get into my lap which is so sweet but today I was really really determined to stay focused and motivated so poor little thing had to end up just going and laying by herself I'm going to use my favorite countertop spray. This is the Wyman's brand. You can get it from Target, Amazon, or Walmart. And I love it. By far my favorite thing to use on any granite or stone. Just to wake you up when I dance around. I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Hey guys, I wanted to hop on here real quick and say if you are enjoying today's video, would you give it a thumbs up? And it would mean the world to me if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you aren't subscribed already, little things you can do that just show me that you are liking what I am posting and it is a blessing to my family. So just wanted to hop on here real quick and say that. Let's get back to cleaning. I am going to use my stainless steel e-cloth after I sprayed everything down I realized that all you need is water with these cloths which is why I love them so much but I forgot so it got double clean Josiah was so proud of the little mountains that he made. I thought they were so cute and I love all the colors. So I put that up there and then we get the kids these little magnets. They love to play with them. And Chris wrote a very sweet message. There's my little buddy back there. She is loving following me around and she loves this vacuum. I'm so glad this Dyson is working. If your Dyson ends up breaking, just look for a center around you. They fixed this for free because it was in the warranty and I believe it's a three year warranty. I'm not 100% sure, but I am very thankful to have it back because as much as I love the water vacuum, it is nice just to be able to pull something out real quick. I'm gonna put my barkeeper's friend cleaner on here. This is for the cooktop, and then I will also use the powder for the sink.
I love cleaning the sink. Let me know what your very most favorite cleaning is in your house. I love the sink. I love deep cleaning. I think that is by far my favorite. And then organizing. I love decluttering and organizing. Whatever it is, I like a big transformation. So if that's deep cleaning or organizing, that's my favorite. Just picking up here and there. No, not really, don't really care about that. But being able to step back and see the transformation brings me so much joy. I'm going to use this opportunity to clean the little soap dispenser tray. I got both of these dispenser and the tray. I only am using one of the dispensers, but it was from Target. I believe it was $20 for two of these really cool looking dispensers and the tray, but I'm going to use some of the Mrs. Myers mint, mainly because I like the color. I mean, the smell is fine, but I just like the aqua around it. So that's what I'm going to use. And then I'm going to clean this little um, marble looking sponge or scrub holder. And I got that from Marshalls. Moving on to the cooktop, I'm just gonna put a little magic eraser and go in circular motions just to get any of like the main stuff off. And then I will show you the scraper I'm gonna use to really clean it good. I'm using my microfiber cloth that I had gotten from Marshalls. I've talked about them quite a bit and I'm going to clean everything in the microwave. I didn't spray anything. I didn't need to. These cloths are amazing. I'm using this scraper here. It is a safe scraper. So it's like, looks like a razor blade, but it's actually plastic. And I found it from Amazon. I do have it in my Amazon favorites. It might be under favorites or kitchen essentials. I can't remember, but it is there if you guys are looking for something because I don't like having razor blades, but that is honestly what works best on these cooktops. So this has been great. Just using a little window cleaner, glass cleaner, and I'm gonna wipe all of these canisters down. Obviously not going inside of them, but just on the outside to make them look really sparkly.
Time to start picking up the living room. You can see Ruby is not even bothered. She stays there the whole time and sleeps while I start cleaning everything up. I'm gonna put away any of the laundry that I folded this particular day. The night before, I woke up at 3 a.m. I could not sleep. So I came out and folded Chris's laundry and paid some bills and did all the things. I don't know why, if there's any time that I wake up in the middle of the night, it's always around three which is really frustrating, but I finally, I laid there for a while and then I finally got up around four and that's when I did everything and went back to bed about 5.38. I remember looking at the clock, laid down and I don't think I really fell back asleep, but I just laid there and then came to at 7.15 to get the kids up and ready for school. So that is what I did. So I had some laundry that I needed to put away and I had a lot of things on my mind. I sometimes just wake up with like all these thoughts and that is when having a notepad next to your bed is so, so beneficial. It's like a brain dump and it helps just kind of clear space and allow you to finally settle. So as you can see, I put this basket here. My husband and my boys hate it, but I don't like seeing all of their game system. So I got this basket from Hobby Lobby and it fits in there perfect. They can lift it up when they want to put their games in it. So I feel like it is a win-win. I'm going to decorate these sconces, but for today, I'm just gonna clean them out. I think I'm gonna put some really pretty flowers in there, maybe orchids and some Easter eggs. I love decorating those for the holidays. When we cleaned the kids' room out, there were a ton of Legos, as always. So I'm gonna buy two more under the bed storage containers to put them in because with the bunk beds down, um, there's just no room. I did a whole video on that and I will have that up very soon. So make sure you are subscribed to see that. It'll be a total room transformation for spring and I love the way everything turned out. I'm going to open the blinds in my room. This room does not get a lot of good light, so I struggle with the angles and trying to get good footage in here, but I'm going to put away the clothes. Um, you guys know when I clean, I will just put whatever needs to go in the room in there. Sometimes I will throw it in there because the more I stay on task, the better, because there's so many times, there have been so many times where I will go into a room to put clothes away and then I notice that's a mess and I start to clean there and then I go into another room to put something away and that's a mess and I clean there and then there's all of these rooms that have things everywhere. So when I'm cleaning and when I'm tidying, I will just throw whatever goes in the room and just put it in there really quick so I can get back to what I was doing and that way I can get something from start to finish completely done. First you were so easy, but now I can't even get through to your mind. Cause you don't wanna listen. I know everything about you. 
Have you guys been enjoying all the spring cleaning videos? I know YouTube has had so many of them and I have done quite a few myself. So if you guys want to see last week's video, that was a spring cleaning. I think I've done about three so far and I will have the playlist in my description box. So definitely check that out. Lots of deep cleaning, lots of fun cleaning. So um, my very first spring cleaning was about three hours in the bathroom. I mean, I got every crevice. So if you need some bathroom cleaning motivation or you just want some upbeat music to listen to while you're cleaning, I'm gonna have that video in the description box and in the cards above. Check it out. It is a long one. It's 45 minutes of really upbeat music and lots of motivation. I feel like our doors and the trim in our house are always so neglected. So I took this opportunity to clean it with my little Swiffer here. You can see how dirty it is. And this was new. I got this new Swiffer on this little attachment today. I mean, the dust in this house is so unreal. I purchased some new pillow covers from Amazon. They are already in my Amazon favorites for my favorites category. I love these pillow covers. They're like velvet and they are 20 by 20. I believe it was $15 for two and I love them. This is the way you can change your decor on a budget. Just get pillow covers. You don't have to constantly buy new pillows and who has the space for all those pillows. As you can see, I have a navy blue cover on there right now. Um, another really good thing about these pillow covers is you can take them off and wash them. So that's kind of awesome. If you don't want to buy inserts, you can always go and scour the clearance sections. There's always clearance pillows and it doesn't matter what they look like because you're going to put a cover on it. I love the blush pink, or actually I would say this is maybe a petal pink, I'm not sure, but I love the soft tones of this on the bed with the gray flowers. I feel like it's just the perfect amount of softness and a little bit of sweetness in our bedroom. I'm gonna add some faux flowers, but for today I think this is just so sweet. I went to TJ Maxx and I got this pillow and this egg and I think they're so cute. I got these from Home Goods. Still keeping my blue. I love this bunny pillow. It's got a little cotton tail on the other side and of course my aqua egg. I'm going to fix up this little tray here, this wicker basket in behind there is from Home Goods. These little bunnies are antique and I got them on my birthday weekend about 2 years ago. I have always wanted to have an island I can decorate and this makes me so happy. I'm gonna wipe all of the sawdust off of this orchid because our carpenter actually was cutting the wood in our garage, don't ask me why. So I'll wipe it down and I'm gonna add my little bunnies. Everything here um, are things that I have had so I'm just bringing that out. Only thing that's new as you saw was the egg and the pillow. Pieces. 
take a breath Let me be a part of something real mm-hmm. Someone said it's better when You hold on to a helping hand Sometimes we could all use a friend I'm going to use this old blue ginger jar that I got from Goodwill for $5 last year or maybe two years ago and add a bouquet of flowers from Michaels that I got last year. Every so often they'll sell these bouquets. They're already put together for $5 and I just love the sweet pink on it. This little trio is from Kirkland's. I purchased it last year. I know I always tell you when, but I just want you to know if you're interested in getting something, if it's still available. So this was last year and I used a coupon and I have been wanting these for so long and I love them. You look at me like I'm different. Still you stay cause you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I, I, I love how everything came out. It's so sweet. I love the colors. It honestly makes me feel so much joy and so much happiness. Um, it just feels good to have some color in the house. It feels good to change up the decor a little bit. And I just love everything. I do. I just think it's so, so cute. I think I got this little bunny from Hobby Lobby or maybe TJ Maxx. I can't remember now, but I got it a while back. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you a ton of cleaning motivation as well as inspired you and just let you know that you're not alone in this motherhood or homemaker journey. I'm here with you and I am so thankful that you chose to watch today's video and you showed up for me and that just means the world to me. I hope that this decor brought you some joy and maybe inspired you to start decorating your house for spring. Um, I always try to show you how to do things on a budget. It's really important for me and I know it's probably important to you as well. So thank you all so much for being here. Don't forget to tell Adeline I said hello when you go and visit her channel. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. That we never had the end of is real. I think we're searching for reasons not to be like this.